So what countries are leading the way in crypto? Yeah, so 2021 was such a landmark year. I remember sitting, uh, everyone knows, you know, El Salvador. El Salvador is accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. Uh, not only that, but they airdropped Bitcoin to every single one of their citizens that uh, downloaded a wallet. Now, they are definitely leading the way just because, I mean, they're also creating a city where there's like, no capital gains tax on your Bitcoin. There's so many different interesting things that are happening with El Salvador. They're definitely becoming, a, we call it a citadel nation, and they plan to establish an entire Bitcoin city funded by Bitcoin. I think ECI has a huge part in that, so you should definitely uh, check that out and stay tuned for what ECI has in that Bitcoin city. Um, another big country is United Arab Emirates, the UAE. They're one of the most crypto-friendly countries in 2021. CZ, who is the CEO of Binance US, uh, Binance is one of the largest crypto exchanges. He recently moved his company to UAE after probably looking, he's moved a lot actually over the last couple of years. Um, another country that came out as very crypto friendly was Canada uh, because of the ETF. In the United States, we've been trying to get an ETF approved so many different times that it continually keeps getting denied. Uh, but they have the first physically settled Bitcoin ETF traded on their publicly listed exchange. Um, and Singapore, obviously Singapore is a huge banking hub already. Uh, but what they've done is that one of their largest banks, DBS Bank, they have accepted crypto. They have launched their own crypto trading platform in 2020. So uh, you're going to see these countries that take this technology and run with it instead of regulating in a way or trying to uh, stop their people from using it, they're gonna really end up ahead. Now, are there some countries that are non-crypto friendly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I really don't, I mean, if I was an advisor for these countries, I would say it's not smart. You know, you really have to, if, if they're afraid of it, it's better to embrace it instead of run away from it because it's inevitable. It's the power of the internet. It's going to happen. Uh, one thing that's happening right now is in South Korea, the government has asked Apple and Google to ban crypto play to earn games from their app store in that country. Um, P PDE play to earn is something that already exists where, you know, in gaming, you play a game and you earn tokens. But in crypto gaming, you play a game and you earn cryptocurrencies. So people are earning money off of playing these games. So it's pretty interesting that they're telling them not to. Um, you know, South Korea definitely has one of those cultures that has a huge gaming like atmosphere. A lot of people are gamers in that country. 